Hello everyone, this is Mary DeMuth and this is Pray Every Day where I pray through scripture verse by verse. Uh, we are getting ready for Christmas and so in light of that we're reading through Luke chapter 1 and Luke chapter 2. We're in chapter 2 verses 25 to 35 today in the Amplified Version and it says this. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And this man was righteous and devout, carefully observing the divine law and looking for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed. Prompted by the Spirit, he came into the temple enclosure, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him the custom required by the law, Simeon took him into his arms and blessed and praised and thanked God and said, Now, Lord, you are releasing your bondservant to leave this world in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles to disclose what was previously unknown, and to bring the praise and honor and glory of your people Israel. And his legal father and his mother were amazed at what was said about him. Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Listen carefully. This child is appointed and destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and for a sign that is to be opposed, and a sword of deep sorrow will pierce through your own soul, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, thank you that you um, lit upon Simeon in the form of the Holy Spirit, and you told him that amazing revelation that he would not die, he would not taste death until he saw the Savior. And what a beautiful juxtaposition of how you led him to the temple on this very day of Jesus' dedication, said he was prompted by the Spirit to come into the temple enclosure. Lord, I pray for that for me. I pray for that for those listening today. We would be so in tune with your Spirit that we would go to places you want us to go to. That we would walk down the street if you tell us to walk down the street. If we go into that store, if you tell us to go into that store, to pray for that stranger, if you tell us to pray for that stranger, Lord, that we would be like Simeon and we would obey you when you say, um, tell us to do something. But not only that, I, I'm so grateful that his ability to obey also resulted in a huge blessing for himself. And Lord, that's what we forget about. We think of obedience as kind of this drudgery or the sadness of, oh, I've got to obey God. But when we do, there is such joy. We get to see your plan in action. We get to see the fulfillment of what you're doing. We get to see the healing of other people. I know for me, as I've had um, been prompted to pray for others, uh, sometimes even strangers, it's been so beautiful to see how you have orchestrated that and how you love that person so much. So Lord, help us to be a part of that plan. Help us to be like Simeon, to hear your voice and then to obey it. Lord, um, I love that when he looked upon Jesus, he said, my eyes have seen, like he actually touched, he saw, he looked at you, Jesus, before you were even um, a little boy. And I just think that's just beautiful. Um, and Lord, I thank you too, again, that the gospel is being preached in this passage, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, to disclose what was previously unknown and to bring praise and honor and glory. I love all of that, Lord. This is the beginning of the gospel happening, that Jesus didn't come just for the nation of um, Israel, but for the whole world, that he was going to cross geopolitical boundaries, that he was going to woo all men to himself, that if he's lifted up, he will draw all men to himself. Lord, thank you that Jesus was appointed and desperate destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel. And you see that, that he was the stone that the builders rejected, and yet he has become the very cornerstone, and that the religious elite didn't understand who he was, and yet the simple common man did. So Lord, help us to receive you in a like manner, that we could be simple and humble enough to accept the gift of Jesus today. 
It's such a beautiful gift. And prepare our hearts for Christmas. Prepare our hearts to celebrate you in a way maybe that we haven't done before. Um, to quiet ourselves, to hear from you, to read your word, to, to revel in the incarnation. Just bring us to that place of holy awe, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to Pray Every Day. If you want to support the podcast, you can go to patreon.com forward slash pray every day. There's a couple levels that you can have. One of them is a painting from me every month that I will send to you digitally. So um, if you're interested in that, you can go there. And uh, anyway, I hope you have an amazing day. It's not too stressful and that you're experiencing the presence of God.